In our lab, we have developed a microfluidic device for the high-throughput screening of receptor arrays. The first step in the production of this device is printing an array of spots containing DNA that codes for specific receptors and a calcium sensor. DNA for the different receptors is repeatedly deposited in a random pattern onto a glass slide. The chip surface is covered by a lipid transfection reagent to promote uptake of the genetic material. Cells are seeded on the glass slide, adhere to the printed surface and cover the spots. The lipid transfection reagent has formed micelles that encapsulate the receptor and calcium sensor DNA. These micelles are internalized and broken down by the cells, thereby releasing the receptor and calcium sensor coding DNA, which is taken up by the nucleus during cell division. After cell division, the genes are expressed, leading to the accumulation of specific receptor proteins in the cell membrane and the fluorescent calcium sensor protein in the cytoplasm. The cells grow into a monolayer that covers the entire glass slide and locally express the printed DNA. Each spot on this living cell array represents a unique receptor and is visible by the fluorescent calcium sensor protein. This receptomics chip is suitable for integration in a microfluidic device. First, the flow cell is assembled by placing a glass cover with a gasket on top of the cell array. This assembly is inserted into a flow cell holder. After closing the holder, a microfluidic connection is made, creating a continuous flow across the receptor cell array. Sample series are injected that can interact with different receptors on the cell array. The duration of the interaction is controlled by sample volume and generally takes about 30 seconds. The receptors expressed by the cells are sensitive to specific molecules in the sample. When these molecules interact with the receptors, they trigger a transient calcium buildup in the cell that in turn causes a temporary change of fluorescence from the calcium sensor protein. Depending on the molecules in the solution, a specific fluorescence response pattern is recorded. Each sample will result in a different pattern. Analyzing these fingerprints allows us to determine the bioactivity of sample series.